Hi guys, uh, Windows 10 is available on the Raspberry Pi, so I'm going to show you how to install Windows 10 on your Raspberry, how to access the PowerShell and send the commands over it, and also how to set up uh, Visual Studio 2015 and start programming, obviously on the computer, and then send everything and the code to your Raspberry Pi. So uh, let's start with going to the website and downloading the dashboard. On the Raspberry Pi, download website you'll find uh, Internet of Things Windows 10 Core Edition. So download the dashboard to your computer and install it. Once you've got everything set up then just grab your card, plug it into your computer and we can uh, get going. Your card should be detected automatically, you can enter the device name and the password. You can also select a Wi-Fi uh, settings however i would strongly recommend you to connect via lan when uh, if it's the first time you're connecting also bear in mind the raspberry pi do not support 5g uh, networks so if you're on uh, 2.4 you're right but if you go 5g uh, then uh, it's not going to send those settings if you've not done this before then you have to download the image from the uh, server it will take a few moments and once the image is downloaded it will simply start the installation when the card is ready, uh, simply eject the device using the Windows settings to make sure the card isn't corrupted and then proceed. Alright, the card is ready uh, to go. I'm gonna um, head downstairs, this is where my Raspberry is waiting for me, plug the card in and it's good advice to power on your um, TV or some sort of screen you've got uh, your Raspberry connected to, uh, to monitor where when exactly you are able to connect to the Raspberry. Raspberry will become um, online within five minutes. However, it's good to have a confirmation because uh, as soon as the Raspberry is on, it won't be available straight away to use. You'll have to wait a little bit longer for the boot to complete. All right. My Raspberry is enabled right now. The card is in, it's uh, loading the windows and I can see a Windows logo on the screen as well. It's gonna take a while for this to show up on the um, your computer end in my devices so if you click on my devices it's just a waiting game right now initially you'll see the uh, raspberry showing up like this for a few uh, more seconds or maybe a minute or so the raspberry still be unresponsive as it's going through a few setup procedures so be patient and uh, watch and the Raspberry um, installation uh, on some sort of external screen or just give it extra time. When the boot is complete and you can see startup on your screen, you can access the uh, Raspberry Home dashboard. This is where you can perform updates and change some settings, see what's connected, etc. So play about with this um, dashboard. It's just an overview of information about your Raspberry and the Windows 10 Core Edition. There is the option to use it as a Wi-Fi hotspot. Now, to go to the PowerShell, which is kind of like terminal in uh, Linux, just right click and click on open PowerShell, enter your password. Be patient here, as it will take about 30 seconds, I think maybe a little bit longer, initially to load the PowerShell, which is a bit annoying and it takes a little bit too long in my opinion, but this is why it is. Once the connection is established, however, we can start using power, shell and bash commands. So, uh, just to make sure everything is working, I just type date and I get a return a current time and a date. If you notice that uh, the time is right now uh, 6 p.m. So, and uh, this is in a different time zone, time zones can be obviously adjusted in the dashboard itself. Let's go ahead and open Visual Studio 2015 and I'll show you how to set it up to work with uh, your Windows 10 machine. Open new default project in a Windows and uh, then we'll have to do a small adjustment. Uh, at that point, you might be asked to enable on Windows 10 a development uh, mode, so uh, please enable uh, this. And once the default program is loaded, we have to import additional uh, libraries. In your references on the right hand side just right click on it and we're going to add a new one. This will enable uh, GPIO pins uh, in the C Sharp or in the Visual, Visual Studio and will also allow us to execute the code remotely on the Raspberry Pi. 
itself. As you can see, this option is now available here, so you can select your Raspberry Pi, click Submit, and you're ready to start coding in C Sharp. Thanks for watching, guys. As usual, more on my website, notenoughtech.com. Uh, you can follow me on all the social media, like the video, leave me comments, say thank you, or whatever. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.